In this section, we'll start looking at ng modules and their purpose in an Angular web app. In addition, we'll start talking about feature modules and how they can help organize your project. And then lastly, we'll look at services and generate our first service using the Angular CLI. So let's start off by taking a look at the modules that we already have in our application. So an ng module describes how the application parts fit together. And every app that you generate with the Angular CLI is going to have at least one ng module, which is the root module that bootstraps the application. And so ng modules configure the injector and the compiler and help organize related things together. So they're annotated with this at ng module that you see here. And it takes in this object, and this object basically stores the metadata information. And so the metadata describes how to compile and launch the application. It stores all of the components, the directives, services, and pipes, which are all known as declarables. For smaller apps, you usually just have the root module, the app module. But for larger apps, you're typically going to have a lot of modules in your app. Now this first property, declarations, this holds the set of components, directives, and pipes that belong to the module. And each component can only be declared in one module in your app. The property imports, basically this tells your app which modules this ng module needs to function properly. So for example here we needed the browser module, the router module and the forms module. Providers are going to take in the services that the module needs. Now you have another property here called entry components. An entry component is any component that you're not referencing in the template. So one example of this would be like your router. You use the components to route to them, but you're not referencing them anywhere in the template. That is an entry component. So when you create routes, they automatically get added to this entry components property of the module. Another example could be a component that you reference inside of your class, but you don't actually display it in the view. You don't reference it. That would be an entry component. Another property is exports. So whenever you have a module that has a bunch of components, directives, pipes declared in it, you will use the exports property to allow any of those declarables to be used outside in another module. So let's say I have module A and module A gets imported by module B. Well, in order for module B to use a component from module A, it should be exported. So again, exports is basically everything that you want to be accessible outside of this module to other modules. And then lastly, we have the bootstrap property, and you'll see that it's already preset with app component. So what bootstrap is, is it basically is a set of components that are bootstrapped when the module is started up. So basically Angular takes in the app component and it creates and inserts it into the index.html host web page. 